got one. Oh, this one's big. Oh, I have a decent striper on. Yes, let's go. Let's go, boy. On the S waiver. Oh, and you let go. Gosh, and that end up. Oh, I had a bite right there. Oh, look at these guys going crazy on my fish finder right now. Oh, I got bit right there. Got one. Got one to go. Let's go, guys. I love this bite. Spoon bites the best, man. Ooh. Oh, he came off. Man, that was sick. That was still sick. Oh, I got a fish on. I got a fish on. Oh. Oh, I got one. I got one. It's my second swim bait striper today. Come on. Let's go, guys. I saw him take off with my line, too. Oh, that's a nice one. Should I brought my depths. Let's go. That's a good one. Sheesh. On this waiver, let's go. Yeah, that's insane, guys. Two swim bait stripers within 10 minutes of each other. That's, I mean, I don't, I, I don't really catch more than one swim bait fish in a day, usually, but it's crazy. I dropped on a big group of them. And they're super active, they're all good ones. And all I'm doing is I'm casting it out, letting it drop all the way down. The last fish just bit it on the drop. He let go and I started reeling in and he went for it again. That was just insane. You got like small stripers boiling and that's what I tried uh, going for this morning, but it's just not worth it going for those guys, they're too small. The big ones aren't boiling just yet, but man, what a rush. one on the magnum spoon oh my gosh six inch spoon man that's crazy you wanted something bigger wow hey that's crazy man. oh yeah that's a good one Love that flutter. Jeez. What a fight, man. What a fight.
barely hooked. Damn, look at that, guys. Crazy. Alright, what's up, guys? So in this clip, I actually lost all the audio just for this fish. So I'll give a voiceover on what I'm doing and what I'm using. So as you guys can see here, I was just popping the spoon up, up and down, up and down. What I was using was, I was using a 6-inch flutter spoon. So as it falls down on free spool, the spoon will fall down sideways. It'll go back and forth, back and forth sideways. It's just going down. And that really just attracts the fish, especially for stripers. And the group of fish I was on, they were reacting to reaction strikes. Pretty wide open, but at the same time, it wasn't. You would really have to work the bait in different ways. Sometimes I would um, drop it all the way down and I would bring it up three quarters of the way up to the water column and then I would drop it back down. Sometimes I would just go all the way to the bottom and just pop it up and down like in this clip. It all depended, but in this video, I'm using that six inch flutter spoon, which is linked in the description below. And I got this fish from popping it off the bottom. Unfortunately, I end up losing the fish, but a flutter spoon is a great way to get those bites in during the summer and fall time, especially when they're focused on shad. Oh, drag peeler. On the big spoon again. Oh, it's barely. Go. Another one on the spoon, let's go. Oh, got another one. Got another good one on. Dry peeler.
another one on the spoon. Let's go.